the Goonies, Lost Boys, you'd probably recognize him. A-list celebrity, at least at one time. I'm not sure that you would classify him that now. I really don't know. But I don't know when the last time you checked in on him was, but man, he is maybe the king of cringe. And that comes from this guy with a pink headband and a mustache. Corey Feldman is actually oblivious. He tries so hard to be Michael Jackson. Don't take my word for it. I'm gonna show you something that you're gonna feel just absolutely blessed to have seen because it is so good. Well, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's so bad that it's good. You know what I mean? He's been making a bunch of music. And like, this is actually old now. This was in like 2016, but I've been watching it like, I've probably seen this 50 times. I like to return to it every now and then just to really ground me, just to remind me that sometimes you can be oblivious as to who you are. And I think it's important to strike that fear into your heart, to just be reminded that sometimes you can be absolutely delusional. But like I said, he's been making tons of music, doing live performances, record, record, song, hit after hit, kinda. Living in a mansion with like these chicks that he calls his angels. Like, I don't know if he picks them up off, you know, Craigslist. Like, I need a bass guitarist. Must be attractive, freaking young, blonde chick. And then girls like reply to it and she's like, I can play the bass. And she's like, bunk, bunk, bunk. And he's like, good, but are you willing to call yourself a Corey's angel? And they're like, I mean, I, I guess, like you're gonna pay me, right? And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna pay you when we hit it big time. Cause my band and my songs are, they speak for themselves. He makes them live in a mansion together. They have to follow all these certain dietary restrictions. They have to dress a certain way. They have to basically present themselves as his minions. And then they have to deliver the most embarrassing performances. You know what? I've, I've said too much. Let's just watch a performance. This was a big, big opportunity for the band. Morning television. Doing like dance music for stepmoms who are like double holding, double fisting like a cup of coffee, just getting ready for their work day telling their kids to like get dressed and then sitting down to just catch up on some news. And then they're blessed with this. Man, that's, ah, oh, yes! It's so funny every time. Bam, 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 bam. So what you gonna do? He has so much belief in this performance and he's just, he's, it's all emotion. It kind of feels like he's trying to fuck me through the screen. I love it when the girls all kick in and they like hype man, like the last couple words of every sentence. And it kind of just sounds like elementary school choir. And look, I'm not trying to bash the chicks too much. I actually feel bad for them. They got duped. I'm not even sure like how much they were paid to do this or whatever, but I mean, this lives on forever. It's, it's out there. Fucking rips the hood off just to show his, his beautiful locks. That's when you know he's ascended. He's going super cyan and shit's about to get real. <laughs> he 
<laughs> I love, dude, he leaves like this, like an instrumental break so he can just like showcase some of his moves. Man, like some of these chicks, they had to have been like, please, can we just not, can you just not do the, the knockoff Michael Jackson moves? Why do you think that you're Michael Jackson? You have no, no evidence that you're good. And he's just going, he turns it up to 11. He does like the, like, I don't even know, like anime, like he's got like a ball, like an orb. <sighs> it's such basic lyrics and he's like, they try to stop you but they can't stop you. It's like a sixth grader wrote something that he thought was like woke and edgy. And he's like, this one is going to wake up the masses to realize that they actually had power all along. And that each one of us is a beautiful individual flower stomped on by society. <laughs> God, dude. He's just, he's just doing this. He went to one rave and the ecstasy that he took there rotted his brain out at the same time as he saw some like, like finger dancing shit. And he's like, that, that is who I am now. I'm this guy now. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's like out of breath he's just moving so much no particular real dance move but he's he's just moving a lot he looks like a fish that's just dying on on the shore in his mind right now he's like i'm fucking killing it and again this is like like seven in the morning there's like moms getting ready for work right now. Just like curling her eyelashes, hearing this from the bathroom, like, what is that? And then they come out and they just see this guy just like fucking just giving it. And they're like, is that, is that Corey Feldman? Huh. Oh my God. So like, obviously he didn't produce the, the music to this. He bought it and the original track has like an, uh, like embedded in it already a Snoop Dogg verse. But obviously Snoop Dogg was like, he just didn't wanted nothing to do with this. So they got Doc Ice, a uh, old school rapper. I don't know. I don't know anything about Doc Ice. But as the camera turns, you can just see him like waiting behind the sign and then he comes out and then he just like kind of raps over the Snoop Dogg verse. Like they couldn't even get the track without the Snoop Dogg verse. So it's just, it's just two guys like rapping kind of like over top of each other. And it's just, a, it's such a mess. <laughs> so honestly, I feel bad for Doc Ice. They should have dressed him up though, differently. I feel like, like he's literally dressed like a child would be if they got into like the dress up drawer. They should have given him a cool, like one of Corey Feldman's thousand leather jackets and pair of like, I don't even know, chain mail pants. Cause you know, he's got something weird like that at his, just in his closet. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Feldman twerk. Twerk! It just doesn't even fit, it doesn't fit the beat of the song. For some reason, Feldman twerks. Aggressively. Just watch Feldman twerk. And then Feldman's like, twerk! He's like mad about it. He's so energized by doing this. I had to watch that part so many times over. And you know, God bless the cameraman for just not knowing that was even gonna happen. Cause you know, he would have caught the full torque. But Feldman turns around and he's like, let's let them have it. Let's let them have it. Oh 
Oh man, poor Doc Ice. Y you see that he thought that the song was gonna end there too? There's just no thought in this. They didn't tell Doc Ice, like, here's where the song actually ends. For some reason, this is like a consistent thing Feldman does where the song ends and then there's like 10 more seconds of song so he can just bust a couple more moves. And they didn't let poor Doc Ice know about that. So he like does this like freeze frame shit and then the song keeps going so he's like, doesn't, he like doesn't know what to do. So he's like, just kind of like point, like he doesn't, you don't do that to someone, man. Corey, you don't do that to some, you don't do that to somebody. There's so much just awesome Corey Feldman content out there that this is just gonna be the first of many. If you hadn't heard of Corey Feldman uh, or you didn't know what he was up to these days, here's a beautiful YouTube rabbit hole for you to go down and it's endless. There's so much content there. Like and subscribe. You can hit the notification bell if you want to be notified next time I upload. Might be more Corey Feldman. It's very, it's very possible that it's more Corey Feldman because this is what I would be doing in my free time anyways. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Peace.